The Wooden Railway Originals of Thomas and Friends, Episode 132. The New Diesels. And the steamers and diesels was was have been working really hard. Archie, Thomas, and Diesel 10 were at Vickerstown Station when two diesels arrived. One was a red, red diesel and one was, a, one was black. Like a shadow. Hello, said Thomas. Welcome to Sodor. Why, hello, said, said the red diesel. My name is Wim, Wim, and this is Shadow. Nice to meet you, said Shadow. We really could use your help, need your help, said Archie. Gee, we're overwhelmed at the moment. Then, Sir Topham had arrived. Welcome to Sword of Flame and Shadow, said, he said. Now, I need you to, you to, to shut cars, cars here, at, cars and coaches here at Bickerstown Station, since they're working at the yard. Would you do that for me? We will, said the diesels. Now Diesel 10 and Archie, I need you two to keep a close watch on these two. Am I making myself clear? Crystal, said Diesel 10. The two diesels set off to work and Thomas went back to work on his ranch line. So the diesels were hard at work. Pushing and jumping and pushing in closes choosing cars to one well well. Thanks to their diesel's hard work, everything ran like black work. Both Diesel 10 and Archie were impressed. Just then, the station master came out, out of the station. He, he, he had some urgent news. Emergent news for Diesel 10. 10. Polar, uh, polar has broken down. Set to dry. The station master. I need you, you to take his train, take his train in 
to Nefford Harper. Sure thing, sir, said Diesel Tem. And he set off. But one day, but that after noon, noon, the diesels had had a naughty idea. Archie was fast asleep, and and he didn't know that that the diesels were making up a plan. Just then, quick and. A black tender engine from the mainland was about to back up to to couple up to to his coach. All right, ready, flame, ready, shadow," said the diesels. Flame, flame stayed quiet, yet and backed up. And push the car towards, towards the black tender engine's tender. Ah! Said the engine. Who did that? Shadow also heard the black tender engine. So he made, made up a plan. He was going to tell, tell lies about the other diesel, about the innocent diesels. Oh yeah, that that accident said said Shadow. It it was Daniel. He 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 did it out of rage that at you. And he ran away before I could speak to him. The when I see see that mangy fool again, said the tent said the black engine. And he's go I'm going to biff him to bits. You can go do that, said Shadow. And he and he back and he went back to the station. Good work, Flame," said Shadow. Now we we'll just have um, we have some more havoc to cause. And what might that be? We're going to um, try to get all all the steam engines damaged. Let's do it. <coughs> what? Well, well, said said Flame. From what I've heard, Stella is taking a train, train or train to taking a train to 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 random docks, docks from Catlin Station. All right, said said Shadow. Ah, out. I'll handle him. Okay, said Flame, and the two diesel set off. But what the diesels did not know was that David had been watching in the distance. Wait until, until everyone else hears about this. So instead of just telling everyone, he decided to wait at the station for anything else to happen. The diesels were right. Stanley arrived at Callan Station. Sam, is this my train? asked Stanley. Yes, said Sam. 
It needs to go to Brendam Docks. All right, said Stanley. And Stanley went went to go t go turn it around. And it wasn't long until the two diesels passed by. As soon as Stanley was about to couple the couple up to his cars, he was about to set off. I guess I say I'm stopped him. Wait a minute, Stanley. I need to get the caboose. Oh right, silly me, said Stanley. And Sam went to go get the caboose. Soon the diesels arrived at, arrived at Callan Station. But they didn't notice that Bruce was watching them. All right, said said Shadow. Here, here it goes. And he walked up and he raced up to Stanley's these cars. I wonder what they are up to, said Bruce. As soon as Shadow was about to buffer up to to Stanley's cars, he pretended that. He decided to pretend that he was Sam shutting the caboose for him. Soon then Stanley felt a bump. Is the caboose coupled up? asked Stanley. Yes, said Shadow. Oh. All right, here I go," said Stanley. And both Stanley and Shadow set off to the docks. <laughs>